What up, G-Life fam? It's your boy, MC Shadow. Now that we're done with Santa Ana, we in the 661 now, the Antelope Valley, representing for all the riders out there, Lancaster, Santa Clarita, Palmdale, you know, the whole shebang, La Verde, all of that, you know what I mean? You know, representing, because, you know, that should be cracking out there, homie, too, you know, don't think that it's just desert and shit over there, man, it's lovely, and rain is good, and <laughs> should be popping everywhere, homie, you already know. You know, even right there in the 661. So now putting it down for the 661 riders right there in the Antelope Valley. Starting off with... It's a G-Life, swerving in a G-Ride. Woo bang, homie, clutching on the 45. Don't ever slip, cause you do, boy, that lead flies. Cause at the bottom, we stay hunting in that moonlight. You hear the click, you hear the bang when we pass by. This ain't a game fool, the riders really earn strife. That's only gang fool for everyone that main line. And it's a thin line, so homie, better act. Right. We keep it active, really active up on this side You hear the whistle as they're throwing up their gas signs The crime rate in the hood always stays high Banging for the bottle, do chop for the one time We stay posted, drinking till the sunrise We stay posted, drinking till the sunrise Here's that G-Life, swerving in the G-Ride Who bang, homie, clutching on that 4-5 Don't ever sit, cause you do, boy, that lead flies Cause at the bottom B-File Starting off with the biggest neighborhood right here, which is the Barrio New Hall neighborhood. The Barrio New Hall, you can find them where's um, Railroad to New Hall um, Avenue to 16th uh, to Hard Park, all the way to um, to where the Creek Views Park's at, to Hard Park, to New Hall Park. So throughout everything that's in the middle and throughout those you know main uh, avenues is where you'll find the new hall um neighborhood it's large you know is you know the, one of the oldest on this side and the largest you know what i mean in santa clarita um they definitely you know be putting in work got their members one of the neighborhoods you definitely hear about and one of the ones that the law enforcement definitely has a hard time you know containing you know what all the sweeps that they have done and everything like that but still hasn't managed to put a dent in them because they still right there you know Stronger than ever, and you know, keeping it active, doing their thing. Right there, representing for their neighborhood, you know what I mean? And putting that new hall on the map, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even though there's not that many neighborhoods out on this area, uh, nonetheless, man, it, it still be cracking, you know what I mean? And they still be right there, you know, holding it down and, you know, keeping it active. Now, here you have Valverde Park. Now, Valverde Park is one of the oldest, deep um, one of the ones that you definitely hear about, um, even though you don't see them as much as you used to before because of all the racketeering and sweeps and everything like that, because like I said, this neighborhood used to get it popping, it, you know, it was the largest neighborhood on this side, you know what I mean, but you know, well, them in Newhall, you know, you know, were probably the top, you know, but, you know, so you can find them right there, you know, well, due to gentrification and everything like that makes recruitment a lot harder now, you know, law enforcement, ta cabron. Uh, but nonetheless, they still be right there holding it down by where the Valverde Park's at. Now, they have another section, which is in Palmdale, but that's the Valverde Park Locals, which is the VVP right here on this side. And, um, yeah, they'd be right there representing it and, you know, putting it on the map, you know, for their neighborhood right there. Here also... The next neighborhood that's probably the largest, you know, homebred right here was is the CNS neighborhood, which is the Cannons neighborhood. Um, now their neighborhood is right there in Canyon Country. Um, is you know where they call home, you know, their 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 stomping grounds. Um, their territory is from where it's um, um, White's Canyon Road um, to Sierra Vista, um, where the junior high is at, and uh, all the way to where um, North. Uh, Oak Park set is where you can find them, you know, and even right at the park, you know, chilling, doing their thing, um, you know, going at it with the neighborhoods right there, because there is neighborhoods that do stay closer to them, like you have uh, M MMS, you have um, BF, you, you know, you have several neighborhoods right here in Santa Clarita, you know what I mean, so, should be popping, you know, right there, you know, it gets cracking, so this is one neighborhood that you definitely, you know, hear about, you see up, uh, and they be right there representing. Now here you have a sm you know more smaller neighborhood, which is the uh, MMS neighborhood, which is the uh, Mexican Malditos Sureños. You know, it used to be a crew that became a neighborhood, not that old school, very small in numbers, but you know they get it popping. You know they'd be right there representing. You know it's one of the ones that you do hear about. You can find them right there on Sound uh, Sun Downer Way. So throughout that um, Sound Downer Way is you know everything in the middle is what's their territory. You know it's, it's not that large, but 
Nonetheless, homie, they be right there representing and holding it down for, you know, the Mexican maldito sureños right there. Here's another neighborhood that you hear about, but it's not really that old school. You know, only been around since the um, 90s. Um, it's the Brown uh, family, BF, you know, separate from the rest of the BFs that I have already covered. This Brown family over here, uh, Strictly BF, that's how you see it, Vader BF. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, their neighborhood is right here on the opposite side of the river, which is right down Sierra Highway and um, um, Jake's, Jake's Way and uh, Sandy Drive by um, by where the Santa Clarita River is at. Uh, so everything in the middle is what's considered their neighborhood, you know, which is, you know, it's roughly small. But nonetheless, they got it on lockdown, you know, in those uh, apartment project units. Um, you know, that's, you know, where they call home and, you know, their stomping grounds, they definitely where they be putting in work and, you know, holding it down. Cause there is other neighborhoods that do try to come from other areas, whether it's LA, whether it's the Valley, different area, you know, to try to set up shot right there. But, you know, they managed to, you know, not let that happen and still hold their ground right there and, you know, be representing and putting in work for their neighborhood. You know, they definitely, you definitely hear about that and they definitely put on the map. Right there, so you know these guys ain't no chums, you know. Like, no people think that in the sixties one it ain't cracking, but in the Antelope Valley, hey, these battles, hey, they get it popping, homie. But yeah, that's what's up with BF. Now another neighborhood that be right here in the Santa Clarita area um, is uh, SSR neighborhood. Uh, not to be confused with uh, Southside uh, Reseda or Rialto or, or Riverside or any of those neighborhoods. A lot of these guys use the abbreviation SSR, but you have the South Side Riders uh, neighborhood. Now, I heard that this used to be a tagging crew. That's what I was told. Uh, they became a neighborhood. Um, so, you know, they're roughly small, uh, you know, because they haven't been around that long. And, you know, uh, you can pretty much catch them just pretty much drifting throughout uh, that area. You know, they don't have really have a specific location. They just kind of tend to roam around. You know, you know what I mean? That's where that Riders... Uh, um term comes from uh but yeah they'd be right there holding it down and uh putting it on the map and representing for their neighborhood uh even though they're not as large as the uh, the rest of the neighborhoods right there you know or old school i mean like i have always said man the neighborhood's gonna have his down riders and have his soft riders so you know like the hood's gonna have some down ass homies right there that are holding it down for their for their riders that are no chumps you know and and that's just pretty much how it goes so you know they have their representatives right there putting it down and uh you know, keeping it active right there for their Southside Rider neighborhood, you know what I mean?